Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, welcome back to Ghost Recon. Today, I do not know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to go get this hill, this, um, medical playing. Get that one. Get that one. Well, I'm, actually, you know what? Let's go get this one first. Since closer. Well, not close, but yeah. Get that with the badge. So get both those. And then, yeah, we'll go back and get the other one later. I'll drive. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are all enjoying these videos. If you are, definitely remember, always hit that thumbs up button. It really does actually help me out. Um, know that you guys enjoy them. Um, know that um, when I'm recording this, it's not being a uh, just a waste of time. But to me, it's this is actually pretty fun just playing this game. Because, yeah. I've always wanted to actually be a real sniper in real life, but can't join the army because of my asthma, and yeah. Oh shit. Dead soldiers by the road up ahead. Looks like a traffic detail. Engaging tangos. Target down. Oh shit! On the off the road. Damn, son. You see me driving your bitch? Let's go off road. Shit balls. Scout. You know what? I want to change up my outfit a little bit. I want like oh, wait, it doesn't matter what on that. On that I want I think that that's just a little bit better. Yeah. Wait.
Take a bite, guys. I got a narco over here. Civilians in the area. Watch your targets. You can exit onto us, man. Watch out. That was necessary. So I get so focused into you. Supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Into you, the, the, the scam. Oh, this guy is sucker. We got more Sicarios incoming. Fucking can't shut up and job. I'll ping the chopper's location to the rebels so they can take ownership. about that one next. I'll fly. Oh, 
were destroyed. They just want in. We're good. We all in one piece? The combo truck secure. We'll send the location of the radio gear to the rebels. Well done, compadres. My speech was heard all over Bolivia. It is only a matter of time before the people rise up and join our cause. Viva la revolución! Glad we could help. Now what have you got on Yuri and Polito? Nothing yet, amigo. Those two, they cover their tracks well. But my people are working on it. We will know something soon. In the meantime, my revolutionary brothers in Itaqua stand ready to help if you need them. Just call, and they will come. I'll keep that in mind. Open fire. Copy that. Compadre, I may have someone who can give you information on Yuri and Polito. I'm listening. One of my lieutenants managed to escape from them. He fled to a village called Gulta. Rather than give my man up to the cartel, the villagers hit him. Goddamn bravery right there. In response, Santa Blanca raised every home and executed all the villagers. My lieutenant is still being kept alive. Probably so he can be killed in an even more painful way. Understood. We're heading to Colta now. <laughs> So let's go get this bat metal, get this helicopter. Is that sun? I wanna go get Did I come from... I thought I came from this way. So Oh, no, I did grab that helicopter that was over here and bring it back. Okay, so I need to get this helicopter. What's this? I'll see if I can get this convoy if if I'm lucky. If not, oh fucking well. Enemy activity, stay sharp. Two Sicarios, next to the soccer field. Baby makes three. We've got a couple of narcos. Tell okay, me where. First, over by the soccer field. Drone is airborne. I got another. That's five. Tony killed that guy as. Roger that. Move it. Ready to engage. Do it. Damn, that guy's dead.
Marking a captain. Clear. Medical supplies. Okay, let's refill an ammo. There's a cartel commendation here. I'm be sailing that in a second. Make sure there's nothing over here. Now I have this convoy, then I have a helicopter up, I'm playing up there. The plane would be the best one, but, uh -huh. Documents in here. I did not realize they had this. Punch it, man. Fire. Go 
Ground in Akoro. What have you got for us? Akoro is the heart of cocaine production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emissary. Wait. The escort car has been destroyed. Ready. Call the shot. Get ready. Jesus. Fire. Ugh. Escort car. Gear's in good shape. We'll pass on the location of the truck to the rebels. I'm back, Bowman. What happened? Wait, you know what? When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emissary. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians and Sucre, and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job, but the guy's something of a charmer, and he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as Okoro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emisario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yayo. Getting an upload from Bowman. Looks like she's got some intel on El Emisario. Grandpuppy, I, I want my... I want a golden butterfly knife. Engaging tangos. We're clear. Hang on, I'll drive. You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel, and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson. Gonzalo Yana, AKA El Emisario, the Emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows. How to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud. Which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. 
His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, he'll give us everything we need to know about dear old Grandpa. Okay, first... First I need to get... First, get the airplane. And get this food deep drop off. Hopefully, it stays on this side. Then so I just have a mission there. I'm just going to worry about one area at a time. More videos that way. Fire. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. Trump. That's it, we're clear. I want to steal this car. yourselves with Bowman's briefing on Santa Blanca's coke production pipeline. People at the top are El Yayo and La Gringa. Yayo's Bolivian, an ex-cocalero turned cocaine producer. Gringa seems to be a disgraced chemist. She used to work for an NGO here in Bolivia before joining up with the cartel. I gotta say... El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never, in all that time, did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years. A medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. Cool, cool. Cario with a minigun, there by the airstrip. Got another tango. I got a third. The drone is up. This pilot. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Where the hell is the pilot? I'm moving to position. Good to go. That guy's history. 
And the nuts. Puta, no los veo. Way over here. Okay, hopefully, I don't crash this like last time. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Where am I parked? the rebels were to come get their supplies. So after this one, it definitely will be that on that one. For those two, and then it's gonna be that one.
built the hornet's nest. Ah, oh, shit, we've been spotted. Stay there. Ready? Open fire. We'll go. They're coming right at us. Any ideas, boss? Drag out. Fuck, engage him. Cartel station shut down. The rebels might be able to come out in force. Hey, I can do mortar. I call Pakatari for some mortar fire. Copy that. Shut out. Good morale makes a stronger soldier. Yes. Hope makes men fight. But our fight will need more than sentiment if we are to succeed. Don't worry, Pack. This party's just getting started. No mad out. Okay, that's the last one up there. Some document papers there, but a captured rebel being held in the village of Colta might have valuable intel on Lyuri and El Polito. Rescue him from the cartel and find out what he knows. Hey guys, I'm actually going in this recording here. That way, it didn't get too long. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this, and I will catch you guys in the next video, which is yeah. Bye.